As part of the 2013 Summer Nights Track and Field Series, we're proud to present to you our coaching event demonstration series. We have the likes of Olympians Steve Scott, Tony Campbell, Wes Williams, and Tim Seaman to present special type of events and how to coach for those events or to run those events in the future. So we hope you jo join us and check out that series. Thank you very much. Hi, my name is Tim Seaman. I'm here to explain what race walking is today. I'm a two-time Olympian, 45-time national champion, and 13-time indoor national champion. Recently, I won the uh, USA Indoor National Championships for the 13th time, so it gave me a lot of great pleasure to, uh, to have the opportunity to do that. Um, like I said, I'm here to talk about race walking. What is race walking? Race walking has been in the Olympics since 1908. It's one of the oldest uh, events in the Olympics. And uh, back in the late 1800s, it was an event that uh, people would bet on uh, to see who could you know, make it from one point of England to another. And so that's how it got started. Uh, like I said, I'm here to talk about race walking. There's, there's three events in the Olympics for race walking, two for the men, one for the women. Uh, the men have 20 kilometers and 50 kilometers, and the women have 20 kilometers. The 50K event is the longest foot race in the Olympics. It's 31 miles, five miles longer than the marathon, and typically takes around three hours, 40 to four hours to complete, depending on the weather conditions and the, uh, and the year. So it's a very, very grueling event for, for you know, uh, for us. And so race walking is fortunately a high school event in New York and in Maine. Unfortunately, it's not a high school event in the other places around the U.S., but thankfully, we have a great program here in San Diego, part of the, uh, the Summer Night Series, and we have one of the events at Cuyamaca College, and uh, you know we have a 1,600-meter race walk there. There's also great events through USA Track and Field San Diego um, for the youth um, to build up and hopefully to make the junior national team and to, you know, to go to the junior Olympics, so there's a lot of opportunities. In a second, I'm going to talk to you about what race walking is and what it looks like, so that way you get a better grasp of, uh, of what race walking is. As I said, there are two rules in race walking that we must abide by, sort of guidelines, okay? So the first one is we must have a, the knee must be straight upon contact, and it has to stay straight until it passes underneath the body, okay? The second rule we must abide by is that one foot has to be in contact with the ground at all times. So if the foot lands, the other foot still must main contact, and this is to the human eye, okay? So when you're looking at it at really fast speeds, you will see a flight phase when you go in slow motion, but it is to the human eye, and that's something that's very, very important to remember, okay? So let me demonstrate what uh, race walking looks like. So that's doing it pretty slowly. Let me demonstrate again a little bit faster just so you can get a little bit more appreciation for it. So that just gives you a little bit of, of, of insight into what race walking is. We, you know, um, the speeds that we can go at, for example, for, for 20 kilometers, we go around 6.30 a mile. For 50K, we go at just over, a little over seven minutes a mile for the top guys. And uh, myself, I've gone around 7.20, 7.30 per mile for 31 miles. So it's, it's you know, it's pretty, pretty fast. And, um, you know, but I think the, the, the great thing is you, for all you uh, viewers out there, you have a great opportunity to come out to the, to the summer, summer night series, whether you run, whether you race walk. We hope that you'll just appreciate uh, the event that we have, and we hope to, uh, to welcome you to our great event.
Dios.